This is the mold for the top. Okay, right here, this is for the, uh, the bottom of the top. This comes down to a point. And this one has a, a ring for a design and then a hole. And that hole gets plugged up by the, uh, the stopper down here when you clamp it in there which prevents you know, plastic from shooting out of here. So that creates the stem that you use to spin the top. Okay. okay, to set up the machine, we need both electricity and air pressure. This line right here has the air pressure. In order to hook it up to the machine right here, um, you have to pull down the collet here. If you don't pull that down, you'll never be able to get it on. So you pull that down and then push it on there. Uh, the other thing is, is this right here is the is the lever to to control the uh, plunger. But don't don't operate that unless the machine is all warmed up, ready to go. Okay, the plastic that we're going to use for this machine comes in 50 pound bags of pellets. These are what the pellets look like. This is low density polyethylene pellets and these can be melted and formed however we need it. Um, they're all white when they come so if you want color you have to add powder. Here's some orange pigment. We have some copper pigment here. There's copper, it's nice and shiny. Sometimes I'll combine colors, uh, like a metallic color with another color to make it kind of shimmer a little bit. Here's some green. And a little bit of red. Okay, there's lots of colors available. You can even get a glow in the dark color. Um, lots of fluorescent colors available. But I'm running a little low right now. Okay, we're ready to demonstrate the uh, making of the top. I have here some red plastic. Uh, actually, it's going to look more pink when it comes out. But just because I put pink in the top of the oven doesn't mean that we're going to get a pink top out the bottom. It's whatever color um, that's in the bottom of the oven is going to come out. If you put pink in and there's another color already in there, and you might have to make a couple of tops at with the other color before you'll get anything out that's the pink color. So just because I put pink in the top doesn't mean you'll see that same color come out when we actually make it. Um, to put it in there, and this, this is just a tube and I've plugged off the top and the other end is cut at an angle so you can just scoop it and let the pellets fall down inside the tube. A couple scoops there. And then I put it here, turn it over, and let the pellets drop in. Okay, so we're going to do that a couple times. And fill it up a little bit. Now, it might help to pack it down a little bit. But before we do that, we need to have a mold in place. So let me do that. Now, here's the mold. I like to put this one in first and uh, make sure that this this channel here the sprue is lined up with the hole in the uh, nozzle where the plastic comes out in the oven see there a little bit of plastic was already coming out stick it in there don't touch the oven because it's obviously about 300 degrees. Next one goes in and then we clamp that down. You want it to be nice and tight. If it's not tight, uh, the, uh, the plastic, the pressure of the plastic going in will separate the molds. So it's got to be nice and tight. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to throw down the lever here and uh, we'll see if we get a top. Usually the first one doesn't work just because the mold is so cold that uh, the plastic solidifies too fast. It doesn't fill it up all the way. But sometimes we get lucky. 
and you can see the uh, the ram comes down and what you want to do is you want to watch the ram and wait for it to stop moving because that means there's no more plastic coming out if you have the pressure turned up too high you got to be careful because sometimes the plastic will you know it'll keep moving because it's separating the molds or the plastic will be shooting out the top of the mold um, so just be aware that if it keeps moving past what you normally expect it to that is probably a problem All right, so I'm going to open this up um, keep in mind that you want to wait a little bit before you take it out like a minute or so because if you take the top out too fast it will deform because it hasn't completely solidified with the mold as cold as it is it'll probably solidify that top a lot faster but as the day progresses and you've been making a lot and, the, and you notice that the mold is getting really hot you want to leave the top in there for a longer period of time and you, you can just tell by if the previous top that you took out is starting to deform then you probably leave the next one in longer so I'll take this one out got a little bit of I left the plunger down too long so it started oozing out the top that's okay what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this just kind of wiggle it a little bit and uh, pull it out so we have here a top now this right here this is called flashing that means that we probably didn't have enough pressure holding the plates together or there might have been some debris like some dust or a little piece of something that got caught between the two plates which made it so that they didn't close all the way so I might need to go back and clean this make sure it's perfectly flat everywhere else um, that would cause this to happen it can be easily trimmed off so uh, if you have stuff like this happening then there's probably not enough pressure holding them together or the mold is dirty in between the two molds and uh, made it so that you had you know, a problem there with the flashing you can even just peel it off with your fingers if it's thin enough so now it's good to go this twists right off and you have a finished top so if I'm good enough I can spin it in my hand All right. So before you put everything back together again, make sure you've cleared out any anything that could get in between the two plates. Put it back together again with the sprue up. Put a hole and then make your next top. So I'll wait for it to stop moving. good all right now while the um, top is solidifying it'd be a good idea to put the next bit of uh, virgin plastic in there the fresh plastic it'll take a while for this plastic to heat up and it takes a while for your top to cool down so might as well do two things at the same time so fill it up while you're waiting for the uh, top to solidify. By the time you're done doing this, it'll probably be done, ready to go. All right, and we have another top ready to go.